Hey guys, so today we are gonna go through our warm up. Now, if we were in the building, every time we were inside MP, we would start with a warm up. So today, you're gonna get two videos. This first video is, well, how do we do the different exercises for the warm up? The second one will be, let's do the warm up. Um, you might be able to see it on the board here, but they're written out. Don't worry, when you see this on the Canvas page, it'll have the list of what you need to do that you can print out and have with you. But again, you can just watch a video and do it with me. So the very first thing is jumping jacks. Now, we need to do jumping jacks correctly. The first thing you gotta do is make sure you have a nice safe space. So here is my safe space. Um, I have my speaker behind me. I know it's there, I'm gonna make sure I stay out of the way. But I have plenty of room to work, all right? Um, I'm actually in bare feet, which is fine for my workspace. Make sure you are either wearing shoes that fit, not your sandals or flip flaps, um, not bedroom slippers. If you're in the house, you can do it in bare feet as long as you are safe. Because did you know that bare feet support you as well because your feet are in the correct position? But if you're wearing tennis shoes and stuff like that on an uneven ground, that's important because it helps to protect from where you are. Anyway, so we're in our safe space. We are going to start with jumping jacks. For our jumping jacks, we jump feet out, hands out, touch at the top. Your hands must touch at the top. This is a lazy jumping jack. So when we do jumping jacks in our warm up, feet out, hands touch the top, back down to the side. And you can do them as fast or as slow as you need to. The second thing on our warm up list is a squat hold. Now, squat holds make your legs tired. That's a good thing, means your muscles are getting stronger. When you are doing the warm up at any time, if you need to take a couple of seconds to catch your breath, that is fine. For our squat hold, we're gonna make sure we've got our feet on the ground. You see how I bend my knees ever so slightly? Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick my bottom out as far as I can. And if you can see, well you should be watching the video, you can see I've got my knees, my bottom is all the way back, and then what I'm gonna do is I sit back further to try and keep my knees and my bottom in line, and then I'm gonna hold it. Now if my legs get tired, it's okay, I can stand up, give them a little shake, and then we go back into it. When you do a squat, Make sure your toes point forward. Let me move back so you can see my feet. Don't turn them out. Make sure your toes are pulled forward. Remember, knees bend, stick your bottom back like you're trying to touch what's behind you, and then bend your knees to sit into it. That's a squat hold. Make sure, for this video, you're practicing with me, so that when we do the whole thing, we can do it together, and you know how to do each thing. Next thing are push-ups. For a push-up, there are two things we're looking for. Number one is a nice straight body. Then, <clears throat> on a push-up, number two is bending our arms enough. Um, I had a shoulder injury, so I still can't do push-ups correctly yet, and I'm working on that. So when we do our push-up, nice straight body, we keep our hands on the ground, and then we bend and push up. I'm gonna tell you right now, what we're looking for is a good push-up. Do you have to do lots of push-ups? Yes, if you can. Not if you can't yet. Work on a good push-up. So the things you're looking for are a nice straight body. So fingers facing forwards, legs are straight. Right now my body is not straight. Right now my body is not straight. Nice straight body. And then we're gonna make sure we bend our arms so the elbows and shoulders are in line. So when we do our body, a push-up, nice straight body, we bend and push up. Try and keep your body nice and still. When we do it in the warm-up, if you need to do one push-up, take a break and then do one more, great. But remember, we want it to be a good push-up. Straight body, bend your arms. Next one, sit-ups. So for our sit-ups, um, uh, for some of this I'm sitting far away because I'm really tall and I don't get completely in the frame. For our sit-ups, we are going to have feet on the ground, knees are bent, arms across our chest. Um, I'm going to show you this from the side and I'm going to show you face up. And then I'm going to lay the whole way down on the ground and then keeping my hands across my chest, I sit the whole way up. Then I go back down, sit the whole way up. Now, you might find if you can put your feet under something, it'll help, that's not a problem. So, face on, my knees are bent, my arms are across my chest, and I sit the whole way up. Your feet may come off the ground a little bit, that is fine. If you're struggling to keep your feet on the ground, not a problem, here's what you can do is, as you sit up, you can either kick your legs straight to start with, or as you sit up, lift your feet. 
if your feet are held down by something, they're gonna push against it and that's okay. Try and keep your feet on the ground. Make sure you keep arms across your chest. Sit the whole way up, sit the whole way down. Make sure you go up and down. Remember, in the warm up when we do it, if you need to take a break, not a problem. Next up, we have mountain climbers. So we're gonna be reaching up high with our hands, but then we're also gonna be reaching up high, and it's kind of like you're climbing a ladder. So from the side, we're reaching up high, getting our knees up high. From the front, reaching up high, getting our knees up high. Make sure that we're really reaching up high, and then we're getting our knees up. So, if I'm doing it slowly, I'm still getting my hands up high and my knees up high. If I'm doing it faster, same action. Next to squat, remember we just talked about squat hold. Feet point forwards, no feet together. Little step apart, that's too wide. Make sure you bend your knees first, stick your bottom back, bend your knees, sit into it, all the way back up. Bend your knees, bottom back, sit back into it. Bend your knees, bottom back, sit back into it. Tricep dips, <coughs> back onto the floor. We are gonna have, let me scoot back a little bit so you can see my hands on the ground. You're gonna have your fingers facing forwards on the ground, feet on the ground, lift your body. You keep your body still, you bend your arms. You see how I bend my arms, my bottom touches the ground, and then I push up, not move my body, bend, push up. So I don't wanna see this, it's not correct. Keeping our body still, bend your arms, push up. Bend your arms, push up. Don't worry if your bottom hits the ground, it means you're bending your arms enough. So it's kind of like a push-up action, but we're doing it in a different position. Push-up action on the front, tricep action behind. Low plank, for a low plank, the thing we're looking for is a nice straight body. We're gonna be on our elbows and our hands on the ground. We have, when you're doing a push-up or a low plank, the bottom of your foot, your toes are on the ground. Elbows, hands on the ground, hold my body position nice and still. I hold it, hold it, if I get tired, stop, go back into it. So remember, elbows, hands on the ground, feet out behind my bottom right now is too high. So I'm gonna get a nice straight body position and then I'm gonna hold it. Next up is Heidi, running in place. So, I have my hands out front, about waist height. No, I'm curious, not where my waist is. So where your waistband of your pants are, Hands out front. Make sure that they're not touching you, but hands are out front, and you're gonna get your knees up to your hands. So you can see how high my knees are coming up. Now, I wanna get working a little bit harder, so I'm gonna make sure that I'm doing it a little bit faster, getting my knees up. Am I moving my hands? No, I'm not. I'm getting my knees up. Hands stay in front, get your knees up. Next up is lunges. I'm gonna start, feet together. And take a big step, this is a pretty big step. Not a small step, not a giant one. So I'm gonna take a big step forward. I bend to get my back knee on the ground. And if you look, I have bent knee, bent knee. I come back up, feet together, and then I switch feet. Every time, get your knee to the ground. Feet back together. Do you see how I'm stepping forwards into it? I don't step behind. One big step, back leg stay still. Bend, knee to the ground, come back up. If your step is too small, it's really hard to do. If your step is too big, it's too hard to do. So you might have to adjust your steps. Push-ups with rotation. Remember just now, we did push-ups. This time, we're gonna add a rotation. So what that means is, in my push-up position, body's nice and straight, I bend, push up, then I turn and reach to the ceiling. Come back down, Bend, push up, reach to the ceiling. Make sure your feet stay still. We don't move our feet, we keep them still and we just turn and reach to the ceiling. Not behind, to the ceiling. If you reach behind you, you've gone too far. Last one is a side plank. Let's scoot back just a little bit so you can see me. Side plank on my side. Elbows under my shoulder, hands out in front. One foot is on the ground, other one is on top. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to push my hips up by pushing down onto my elbow and to my feet. So I push those into the ground and lift my hip up and then I hold it still. I don't turn my body and hold my hand, I keep it on the side. I will be switching 
to do it on the other side as well. So again, on the side, elbow hand on the ground, feet on the ground, other one on top, bend and push up, get your hips up. No bent knees, legs nice and straight, push up, both feet on top, so not one foot in front or behind, feet are on top, get your hips up. All right, folks, that is the how-to of the warm-up. The next video, we're gonna go through the warm-up. The warm-up is 30 seconds of each exercise we just practiced, 10 seconds rest in between. So, now that you know how to do it, we are gonna do the warm-up in the next video. I will see you for the warm-up. We won't stop.